Ford Focus 2012 through 2018, five speed manual transmission, clutch master cylinder replacement. If you look at this box labeled sack here, I do have the clutch master cylinder inside. Here's the part number for you in case you are looking to buy one as well. Uh, that's it. I got it off of Rock Auto. Okay. That's what it looks like. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to pull it off of here and replace it. And I'll give you tips and advice about pulling this assembly out of the vehicle. All right, boys, so the clutch uh, pedal assembly is held in with four 13 millimeter nuts. One right here, one right here, one up here, which is kind of, uh, I had to reach in through that hole right up there on the side and kind of pop this back because it was getting stuck on the threads. And then four right here. And that's what I used to get them off right there. It's a really long extension, a wobble socket, and a deep, a mid-deep 13 millimeter, and that's a little 3.8 stubby impact there. And in case this is the reason you clicked on the video, here's this other sensor of yours that uh, likely popped off when you're pulling this out here, this assembly. This is how it goes on. You see these little three slots up here? This uh, sensor kind of pops into it and locks upward there. And uh, when you push the clutch pedal down, it contacts this right here. That's how that one works. One of these is a starter interlock and one's the cruise deactivation switch, so just FYI. Another tip for when you pull this uh, assembly out from under the dash there is to compress it with your hand like that. Kind of jiggle it around. This, these nipples here on the master cylinder are going to get caught on the carpet on the firewall up in there and it's going to be frustrating. But uh, anyway, before you pull that out, you are going to need to come under the hood here, pull the air box out, the battery, and the battery tray. And you're going to have your clutch hydraulic lines. I already got these out here. But here's the one on the transmission. This is the slave cylinder. It's got a little clip that you pop out with a uh, pick, and then the line comes out. Kind of the same thing up here. Uh, this is where the nipples for the master cylinder will be sticking out. You've got a little clip for the hydraulic line that you pop out, and then the line will come out. It'll probably break. Highly recommend getting new uh, clutch hydraulic lines. There's two of them, and uh, they go together to form the full line. They're cheap, they're like 12 bucks a piece. I got them off of Ford Parts Giant, not a sponsor. Here's one of them, and here's the other, including the part number there. This one, I'm sorry, but I don't have the part number with me, but it's probably ends in A instead of B. Once again, they're really cheap, oops. And when you go to bleed the clutch hydraulics, what I recommend is, like, remember when you were a kid and you're holding your flashlight for your dad and um, he was bleeding brakes and stuff too, where you would uh, take a big bottle of brake fluid and a long hose. So basically the same principle there, like you're bleeding brakes with your dad when you were a kid. You uh, stick this onto the uh, bleeder for the uh, clutch hydraulics there, crack the bleeder open all the way uh, counterclockwise, Take the other end of this and dip it into the fresh, clean fluid there. And go inside and pump the pedal like 20 or 30 times. You might want to top off the reservoir here every 10 pumps just to make sure it doesn't go dry. But that's how you bleed it out. I do have a video on how to bleed your clutch on this Focus on a 2012 to 2018 Focus. However, I did not mention that uh, way of doing it. I learned that after how well that works and I just wanted to mention that here in this video to dip the line in there Anyway off to, on to the meat and potatoes here the reason you clicked on this video I'm going to show you how to pull that master cylinder off of that assembly there the clutch assembly and pop the new one on Okay All right boys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, clutch master cylinder off. How's how's that lighting? Is that okay for you? How I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna grab right here turn uh, clockwise until you hear it pop, should come right out then. Before you can pop this out all the way, you see right here? There we go, that lighting's better. All right, on either side of this clutch pedal assembly, there's a white clip that you have to push in to release this rod right here out of the pedal. So I'm going to push in on this. Ooh, might need a little screwdriver instead of that. All right, I just felt the white things release. I was messing with it off camera a little bit here. So in theory now, there we go. You see how that was in there? All right, guys, here's the new clutch uh, master cylinder right here. As you see, it has a new uh, retainer in it already with the for the uh, rod. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
take the pedal assembly and uh, pop her in. All right, as you can see here, this one's a big notch. That's a regular notch, regular and regular. So that's easy enough. You just need to identify the larger notch on the, there we go. I'm gonna put that on the top right there. Put the, line the two larger notches up. Push in gently. Stand by. You need to make sure you line this up like that. Okay. And also at the same time, line these notches up right up in here. That go onto the, well, once again, let me show you. See, my finger's at them right, right now. Real time here, folks. <laughs> Do keep in mind you will have to go counterclockwise, but notice with my thumb here, I'm kind of holding this into place and I'm providing a little bit of inward pressure as I'm, oh, okay, come on. Oh, that's tight. This is real tight. All right, so I'm kind of pushing in and rotating counterclockwise because I had to go clockwise to take it off. But you see, uh, see those indentions right there? Kind of mark markings where it was before. Um, that, that means I'm almost there. <laughs> oh, counterclockwise, whoops. <laughs> okay, okay, you can see where it kind of was before. All right, it's, uh, it's all the way on. Now I need to fully seat this uh, clip right here. There we go. She's in, boys. Get this thing in the car and bleed it. Have yourselves a great day and enjoy your brand new clutch master cylinder. Okay. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I do want to close out this video by talking about this meter here. They sent this to me from Tessman. I promised them I'd put it in a video, so here you go. There it is, all undressed and naked. Okay. And it actually comes with Duracells. Let's see what this thing can do. Wow. It's actually showing me how much amperage is going through here. That is pretty cool. Now I can do a parasitic draw test without disconnecting the terminal first and putting a meter in series with it. That's legit pretty awesome. Voltage mode.